Hi, in this video, we're going to be talking about the best time to buy and sell stock. So in this question, you basically are given an array of different prices of a stock and you need to find the best time to buy it and the best time to sell it to maximize your profit. It's only one stock and you only buy and sell it once. So in order to solve this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to have a max value. And we're also going to have a min value. And the reason is because, well, the min value is going to keep track of the lowest stock price. Because at the lowest stock price, then we will be able to see, well, when this is the lowest, then which one of these can we sell it at to maximize our profit? And we'll continuously update min as we iterate through the array. Max is not going to be the max of stock because that is completely useless. So a possible better name I just wrote is money. And this is going to be keeping track of the max money or like profit that you can make. Let's see how this kind of contributes into our question. So right here on the first one, really not much there. We have min is going to be equal to 7, max is going to be equal to 0 because you can't sell a stock that you just bought, you know. The next one, it's going to be updated, min is going to be equal to 1, but now look what happens. If we sell 7 at 1, we lost $6. So the max will remain zero because we haven't made any profit through that transaction. Right here, we, uh, we say that the minimum, it's still one because that value is five. But now this max value is going to change because one minus five, that's four, which is greater than zero. And then we're going to continue through the array. So that's how we are going to be solving our question. So kind of like we just mentioned, we're going to have int money. And this is going to be zero because that's how we initialized it here. And then we're going to set it min. Well, this is just going to be prices of zero and then we'll update it later. So as we iterate through the array, we're going to say, well, if prices of i is less than min, then we just update min. That's what we've been doing the entire time right here. Or you can condense this by saying min is equal to mass dot min of prices of i and min. Then we're also going to be updating our max or a money value, which represents the max profit that we can make. And remember how we calculated that? We just said we took the current value, we subtracted it by the minimum value. So kind of just to write it as a formula, we took prices of i and we subtracted it by min. And we found the math dot max between this and then the existing value. So we're just going to say money is equal to math dot max of money and prices of i minus max. And then we're just going to return the money because we want to return the maximum amount of profit that we can make. And whoops, my bad. This is a max, this is min. Looks like we got our test case right, and if we submit it, we're able to get the right answer. So I hope this video was helpful, and see you in the next video.